This video shows the opening reinforcement for solid walls of the Revit Precast tools. In the IDA tab, we find the command config with which we can define the reinforcement around openings. Here in the tree, we find the reinforcement definition. The reinforcement is defined with so-called reinforcement types. We can define for doors, windows, openings, uh, reinforcement types and also reinforcement for lintels. For each category we can define as much types as we want. With the edit button we can define the type. In this dialog you can choose the perimeter bars around the doors, the rebar type, the number of layers, that means if you want to have one bar in the center of the wall or one on the end in the in and the outside of the wall, the distance of the opening and the overlapping in the corners. The same is for the diagonal bars. If you don't want to have them, choose the type none. Here you define optionally transportation bars. Similar is the reinforcement for uh, uh, openings. You define the rebar type, the number of layers and so on. Here you can define reinforcement types for lintel. You define the support width, how much the lintel should overlap the opening. The lintel height can be fixed size or we can say that the lintel should go up to the top of the wall edge. Here are the top rebars defined with the type, the numbers and the optional uh, iron access. Then we have the uh, rebars on the bottom. And here are the stirrups. They are defined with the rebar type, the distance and the rebar shape. For the shape, we have to define the parameters for the width and the height of the stirrups. The parameters are depending on the rebar shape what we have loaded into the project. When the types are defined, we go to the default settings where we can define which reinforcement type should be used in which situation. For example, for doors, we can say that for a wall thickness from 100 to 200, this reinforcement type should be used. And from 200 to 500, this type. The definition of the type can also be called from here with the edit button. We are now in the same dialog as before. Same is uh, for the windows and openings. For the lintel, we define that for an opening width from 400 to 800, we want to have this lintel type, a reinforcement type and from 800 to 2000 uh, this type. Now save the settings and select all the openings and call the command opening reinforcement. This creates now for each opening the defined reinforcement type. We have here for example the door with the lintel reinforcement, the diagonal bars in the corner, the transportation bars on the bottom and the perimeter bars on the side. The same here for the window. If we select the window and go to the IDAT properties, we come to a dialog where we can change the reinforcement type. You can say, for example, we want to have for this opening a reinforcement type with two layers. And for the lintel, we want to use the same type, but we want to override the definition of this type for this window. We say, for example, that the lintel should go up to the top edge of the wall. When we click OK, the new types are created. We see here that we have two layers of rebars and that the lintel goes up to the top of the wall.